Assalamu alaikum everyone, my name is Uwais Ahmed and you are watching Highstacks. In this video course, we'll be learning Rec.js together, so get ready. We will discuss what is Rec.js, we'll discuss about its scope and features, we'll also talk about its popularity. Apart from that, we will discuss the job market and the service structure. But stop! If you think that you don't have the basic knowledge of web, especially the fundamentals of web like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and OOP, then don't watch this course. This course isn't for you. Just learn the basic and then get back to this course because it will make more sense to you. Now let's talk about web.js. It's a front-end library and not a framework unlike Angular or Vue.js. It's used to create interactive user interfaces. It's created and maintained by Meta, also known as Facebook. According to Stack Overflow's 2021 survey, Rake.js is the top most and most loved library among the developers. Now let's discuss about its scope and features. The number one uh, feature of Rake.js is JSX. JSX is the combination of JS and HTML and it provides an easy way to write HTML code to your React.js application. Second amazing feature of React.js is components. You can think of a component as a section, like if you have a web page, you can divide each section into a separate component and use across all the pages. You have a LinkedIn dashboard on your screen. If you say, uh, we can divide each card or each uh, use interface part into a separate component and uh, call it wherever we want and the components make it reusable uh, if you have ever used php you might have uh, used a separate header or footer file to keep the navigation menu and the footer in separate files for example you have an example on your screen we are including a header file on the top and a footer file on the bottom and in the center we are having main content. For example, if we have a website with different pages like home, about us, contact or etc. We can just create a header and footer file separately and uh, put the code uh, into these files. And uh, if you want to make a change in the header or, or the navigation, you don't need to uh, go to each page and make changes. You can just go to one page like the header.php and make the changes. And similarly, you, you can go to the footer.php and make the changes, and these changes should be reflected on all of the pages through single code base. Similarly, React.js follows the same approach. We can uh, create a separate component for the header and the footer, and we can call it in the main component or any other component we want. Third amazing feature of React.js is Virtual DOM. Due to virtual DOM, it helps us fast rendering the user interface in React.js. We'll discuss it in details in the upcoming videos. Now let's talk about the pros and cons of React.js. React.js has many cons and pros. First of all, let's discuss the pros. Uh, it's easy to learn, fast rendering due to virtual DOM components. You can divide the sections into different components and reuse them across different pages. Uh, C friendly, unlike uh, other traditional JavaScript frameworks, uh, React.js uh, is not the same. Uh, it provides an easy uh, way to navigate uh, uh, through the web pages and uh, it's SEO friendly. It's used by Facebook, Yahoo, Uber, Airbnb, and uh, if we discuss about its cons, high pace of development uh, is a big problem for all of the uh, updating technologies, uh, especially the technologies that keep updating. Uh, so every other day there is a new update in React.js or the packages being developed for the React.js. So that might be a problem for the developers and uh, to sort out the problems uh, for some developers, they write uh, the instructions or the commands in their code for their understanding. Put documentation as uh, the technology is evolving and every other day there is a new update. So sometimes it becomes hard to align with the document. You have to be ready to find the ways to implement the function or use the function. This only covers the UI part. Let's suppose if you want to create a complete application with the backend and the frontend. 
you'll have to do the backend separately, either in Node.js, Laravel, Django, or on any other technology or language you want. But React.js, it only covers the UI part. That means still you'll need some code, some backend work, some backend code to make the app fully functional and you'll need to create the REST APIs and integrate it uh, with React.js and JSX uh, as a barrier for sub development community man, uh, members JSX um, is considered as a barrier especially for the beginners uh, they, they can find it hard to learn JSX that's why I've mentioned that uh, learn the basics of web the fundamentals of app and then come to this course if you want to make the most uh, of that course now let's talk about the service structure of react.js uh, according to Glassdoor, the every survey of uh, react.js developer is um, 92,669 dollar per year the base pay is 85,153 uh, dollar per year but remember it might it might vary based on your location so if you're living in, in any other part of the world your salary might be different but yeah if you want to get some good jobs I have some options for you you can search on LinkedIn go on indeed and find an appropriate job or you can even try remote based or touring these remote companies really provide you good opportunities you can go create your profile and uh, uh, take the test and stand out in the crowd and uh, you might get a job there uh, and I'll put the link in the description so that you can check it out I hope I've provided you enough information to get started and I'll see you in the next video till that take care Allah Hafiz